This short animated video explains the concept of drum buffer rope of theory of constraint, which is an important concept of lean management. So I have explained this concept with the help of some animated examples. So please watch this video till the end. So what is drum buffer rope? So drum buffer rope is basically a lean management concept which is based on the theory of constraint. It was developed by Ejoha M. Goldratt, who is also known as the father of the theory of constraint in his book, The Goal. It is a method to synchronize your production while minimizing the inventory and work in progress. So let us understand what is drum, what is buffer and rope with some examples. So let us first start with what is drum. So drum is a constraint which sets the pace of a bottleneck or a place at which the process is working. It limits your final output and has more demand than its available capacity. So in this case, the output of a system would be same as the output of a drum or a constraint here. So the bottleneck would set the rhythm for the entire process. In lean manufacturing, we call it a tag time. So these constraints that we have can be either internal or external constraints. So say for example, if the market demand is more than the system can deliver, it can be an internal constraint. On the other hand, if you can produce more than that is required by the market, then there would be some external constraint. So also improving the non-constraint part will also have no effect on the final output. So we need to focus only on the constraint, which is the drum here. Now let us understand the buffer. So buffer is the inventory placed before the process to make sure that the process never runs out of stock or is always sitting idle due to the lack of material and is utilized 100%. So to make them utilize 100%, the bottleneck should not stop or be kept idle or like waiting for the material. That is why we have some buffer before the drum or the bottleneck. So the buffer is the inventory that is directly related to the lead time here. The purpose of buffer is basically to absorb the any variability in the process. Now let us understand the rope. So rope is a signal generated from the buffer to release the material. It is a method basically to limit the upstream production. It tells us when to slow down, when to stop the production, when to produce more parts than required basically refers to the system which controls the flow through the entire process to ensure all tasks are completed in the right sequence and at right time. One such method is a pull system that we have in the lean manufacturing. So that is the basic definition of drum, buffer and rope. Now let us see this with practical example. So let's Take an example that we have three machines. Machine A, machine B is assembly line and machine C is a final shipment to the end customer. Machine A has a capacity to produce 10 pieces per hour. Machine B has a capacity to produce 5 pieces per hour and final shipment cannot be more than the final constraint or bottleneck here, which is assembly line B. That is a 5 pieces per hour. So let's see that machine A processes 10 pieces per hour but machine B has a limit and it cannot produce more than 5. So 5 pieces are moved from by process by assembly line B and finally we are remained with 5 as a buffer. So as soon as this buffer start decreasing as we move from this process A to process B, it triggers through a rope mechanism to machine A to produce more parts. And then these more parts are shipped to the buffer area. So this is how we control the mechanism to produce more parts from the uh, this buffer area. And likewise, the same process continues. So as soon as we see a decrease in the buffer, it triggers the rope mechanism to produce a 
kind of a more parts for assembly line B. This is more called as a pull system because we are informing them the previous line machine to produce more parts because the buffer is decreasing and we cannot let the assembly line stop at any point of time. But yes, in this case, your machine A can sit idle for some time, but machine B cannot be idle for in a single minute because any delay or stop at assembly line B will hamper your shipment. So before we look at the benefits, so if you have any specific comments, you can share your comments below and don't forget to share this video with all your friends. The first benefit that we have of this technique is that there is no delays. So delays can stop and shut down your production line, which ultimately cost money. It helps in streamlining the processes. It helps in reducing the inventory over there. It minimizes the poor quality of product. Reduces the downtime. And finally, but not the least, it increases the overall production capacity. So these are some of the benefits of drum rope buffer. So that is all I have on this video. If you like it, click here to subscribe. Do hit the like button as well. Share this video with all your friends on different social media platforms. And if you have any specific sessions or topic for my next video, you can let me know in that comment section below. And please let me know your thoughts as well on this particular video.